Sonic Technologies here at ESV TV to talk about our upcoming lineup of Thunderbolt 3 equipped products. I think to start with it would be a good idea to talk a little bit about what's new in Thunderbolt 3. First of all, as you can see, there's a new connector. So Thunderbolt and Thunderbolt 2 used to use a mini display port type of connector and now with Thunderbolt 3 it's a what's known as a USB type C connector. The connector itself, type C connector is really kind of protocol independent. It can accept and handle many protocols, Thunderbolt uh, being one of them. So Intel has adopted the type C connector uh, and um, it's very thin and interchangeably uh, can be plugged in uh, in either orientation without having to worry. That's a nice benefit and improvement. What else is new about Thunderbolt 3 is that it has uh, adopted uh, and included the USB 3.1 chipset. So computers equipped with the Thunderbolt 3 port not only can accommodate all types of Thunderbolt devices, uh, Thunderbolt 3 of course and then Thunderbolt 2 uh, and Thunderbolt with an adapter but they can accommodate uh, USB 3.1 devices and uh, also USB 3 and USB 2 uh, with the appropriate uh, adapter, Type-C adapter. So that's a big improvement. It becomes kind of a universal port that does everything. What else is new is that uh, there are not, is now support for two streams of mini display port which allows up to two 4K uh, displays to be connected over the same chain of Thunderbolt devices and um, it uh, or it also supports one 5K display. But maybe most importantly for those who've been familiar with Thunderbolt is <coughs> Thunder, original Thunderbolt provided up to about 800 megabytes per second of uh, PCIe data bandwidth, bidirectional bandwidth. Uh, with Thunderbolt 2, it was improved to 1,350 megabytes per second of bidirectional bandwidth. And with Thunderbolt 3, uh, it has now moved to 2,750 megabytes per second of bidirectional bandwidth capacity. It's a PCIe Gen 3, four lanes of PCIe Gen 3, gives you 40 gigabits per second, and the practical uh, result is about 2,750 megabytes per second of bandwidth. I'm holding uh, in my hand the world's fastest bus power drive. We introduced the Fusion uh, flash drive using a M.2 PCIe SSD. Um, is the world's fastest bus powered flash drive last summer for Thunderbolt 2 and of course it was topping out at 1350 megabytes per second because that's what Thunderbolt 2 could do. But now that we have a Thunderbolt 3 version which is uh, shipping uh, now, uh, it uh, is capable of 2100 megabytes a second of bidirectional bandwidth and it's available in a 512 gigabyte capacity. So super lightweight, super rugged, it uh, keeps itself cool, has uh, what we call a captive Thunderbolt 3 cable, holds it nicely in place, but actually you can open this uh, enclosure and exchange the cable. If for whatever reason this cable becomes damaged, it just plugs right in on the inside. You can get another uh, half meter Thunderbolt cable from us and uh, you're back in business again. So uh, no fan required. No auxiliary power required, just simple bus powered, high performance. It can be used as a scratch drive uh, for 4K video editing uh, or for any other type of uh, situation where you need a lot of speed and you need it anywhere and at any time. So that's the Fusion flash drive with uh, Thunderbolt 3. We We'll also be rolling out a family of media readers. Uh, this is a CFast media reader, and it is also Thunderbolt 3. It allows you to uh, ingest two CFast cards at their full uh, uh, at their full uh, performance capability of 550 megabytes per second. So two cards can be ingested at 1100 megabytes per second. These will be, uh, the this is the first in the family. We'll have other readers for all the other pro media cards 
uh, available. They'll be stackable. And, uh, and also in this rugged aluminum that we uh, do so well. So super great new fast uh, media readers equipped with Thunderbolt 3. This is just one of and the example of our Thunderbolt uh, to PCIe card expansion chassis family, the Echo Express family, uh, will all be uh, getting a Thunderbolt 3 edition uh, that we'll make available. At the same time, we continue to offer our uh, current Thunderbolt 2 Echo Express uh, card expansion chassis. So this one is the Echo Express SEL. It holds a single uh, Thunderbolt card. Now it has the um, Thunderbolt 3 ports. So this card, so any card that's placed inside here has got access to 2,750 megabytes of uh, uh, bandwidth. It has two Thunderbolt ports to support daisy chaining. Uh, so the SCL, the SC1, um, will both be um, available with the Thunderbolt 3 edition. The SC2, uh, we're going to, when we come out with the Thunderbolt 3 edition, make it the SE3, so it'll be a three-slot chassis instead of the SE2 today as a two-slot chassis. We'll also offer the Echo Express 3D and 3R uh, with Thunderbolt 3, and uh, at the appropriate time, uh, the XMAC Pro server and the XMAC Mini server will also become available with uh, Thunderbolt 3. That's kind of a little glimpse into what we have going on uh, with Thunderbolt 3, pretty much everything that we're doing with Thunderbolt 2 will eventually have a Thunderbolt 3 edition uh, at the appropriate time. So we look forward to rolling these out for you. Keep your eye on our website, www.sonatech.com, uh, as um, we begin to ship all of these products. Thank you.